I wanted to go out to work again. You know, this is when the children were sort of seven to ten sort of age. And uh, so I managed to get a wonderful warehouse in Southwark, where I was for about 18 years. I was used that uh, as a proper warehouse with lovely big warehouse windows. And that was great for me. And I, I got myself, I had a couple of presses at the time. And uh, I became a member of the Royal Society of Painted Printmakers. Previous to that, I was in the theatre. Um, I had spent a lot of my time at university um, doing sets and costumes and um, that was, a, it was like another career really. Because I was a serious designer for about 10 years. I was working at the Young Vic and I had a show on the West End and, and at um, the National. Even if the set was very simple, when the lighting designer came in, the whole thing just changed and it, it, it came alive. So one had to be uh, aware of what was possible with light in that situation. And so what I've been working on, I think does come from that experience as a stage designer, uh, thinking about um, the way one can make things iridescent. You, uh, in the early days when I was sort of splattering um, huge set you know you'd splatter with different colors and and the light will pick up depending on what colors you'd got in there yeah it's very similar being a set designer was an impossible thing it was an itinerant profession which some men can manage but i don't know very many women certainly family oriented women can um uh, manage so uh, I had to find something else. I went to Morley College and learnt printmaking um, because they had a crash <laughs> and I loved it I loved it so I got into doing etching and then uh, a few years later because I liked the three-dimensional aspects of this particular printmaking that I was doing I started to want to print with actual objects with, and put them through the press, which has its technical difficulties. If I'm using plant material, which I have done at times, if it's got moisture in it, then it, it sometimes just swashes flat. But other times, it, it's just enough there to, to get this uh, lovely organic kind of flowing feeling. And, and it often shows the growth patterns, which is what I'm most interested in. There's a difference here between, basic difference between the two methods that I use for my printmaking. One is collagraph and this particular one I'm drawing with PVA and then I'm using carborundum which is this material here um, that you, you shake on to the PVA. You put that on it has this wonderful dark silky when it's printed, it's like a, um, an aquatint, but much, much richer and darker. So it works for what I do. So these three plates have been done separately, left in the acid for various lengths of time. I mean, this one here has sort of almost gone through the whole of, of the plate. Something like this is a coarse aquadrome which is only left in for a short time. And this is completely um, not um, shown the acid. So uh, then we put carborundum around the outside. Uh, we cut a mat like that and then I can, we can ink up the, the inside um, with the three different primary colours that I tend to use for um, my rubs and that make, gives that iridescence that I, that I like in, in my uh, prints.